Fishing the Midwest is presented by Larson FX, the multi-species, multi-use boat that's ready for whatever you are. Suzuki, the ultimate four-stroke outboard. Core Ice, expand your seasons. Mike Goddard and I get together every year and go fishing. And like me, Mike's a bass head, and so we try to chase bass when we can. So it's the middle of October today. We get out to our first spot, a shallow spot, and the water temperature has crashed in the last week, and we don't find any fish shallow. So we move deep. When we get to the deep spot, almost immediately we get bit, and it's a big one. Not much better than a smally. Oh, look at that one. Wow. He, he's side hooked, though. That's why he not doing it look at that nice fish though. that's big fish <laughs> that oh he was rolled around the yeah. line was wrapped behind him he was fighting kind of weird it seemed well, like when i first hooked him all i felt was dead weight there was no shake nice no fish. no anything but <laughs> He had her. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> Look at the belly on yeah, that girl. He's chewing. Yep, awesome. You know, they say fall is football. <laughs> That's the football I like. You just scored a good one. First fish, hopefully she's got some pals. Smallmouth are definitely my, my favorite fish. I live over on the Bay of Green Bay. We grow, obviously we grow some really big ones over there. So we, you got a shot at a true trophy and uh, it just, it never gets old. Who's back? Got him, Mike? Got him. <laughs> that fish bit three different times. He wanted it, though. Sometimes they want to get caught. <laughs> oh, oh, another yeah. nice, nice one. one. We get the color on the back. Nice. <laughs> Good job, Mike. He wanted that, too. Oh, boy. You know, Mike, one of the things, typically on this lake, I've been able to catch fish for many years, six to 10 foot. Today we're out in that 16 to 20 foot. And I think what's changed the last couple years is clear water zebra mussels. And that fluorocarbon line, we're using the P-Line Tactical. That stuff helps a lot in this, these conditions, doesn't it? Well, not only that, but you know, in, on this particular case, I felt that fish three different times. <laughs> and that line transfers all that energy and just helps you stay in tune with it. Yeah, you got better sensitivity. It's invisible, it's tough, it's good stuff. Let's put some more in the bowl. All right. Another one. Feels good like job. a good one. Does it? Yeah. Nice, solid hit. Good. Feels bassy. I like when they feel bassy. Oh, I love these fall days. <laughs> Sun shining. Look at that pretty fish. Oh, yeah. God, they're pretty out here. Ah, nice job. Yep. And you see where that tube is again? Down deep. <laughs> they're chewing, man. And that fish isn't, I mean, for out here, that's still a, 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 not a bad fish. Yeah, we'll take them. But, I mean, that fish has got that thing. Look at how fat they are this time of year. They all got bellies. Yep. Wow. Fishing for smallmouth on a fall day like this, it doesn't get better than that. Got one going, Mike. Got one, Mike. Good. Oh, it came up top. You went back to that bigger tube, didn't you? Yeah, I went back to the little bit three and a half, I think it is. Maybe we were trying to outthink ourselves a little bit there. <laughs> How's it feel? Uh, not as big as the last one, but they're all feeling good right now. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. He's going to come up, isn't he? Might be good. Yeah. Ah, small. There, there she you is. Go. Good job, Mike. Nice job. Thank you. you. Got that tube yeah. right where you're supposed to have yeah, it. Yeah, right there. He wasn't going anywhere. One of those things about fishing that's important is landing the fish after you hook them. Mm -hmm. You know, we talk about location, the right lure, the right line, and all that. But after the fish is hooked, you got to get in the boat. And that's where Beckman's got back in the net business a couple years ago. And now you guys have come with a new couple new nets. We, uh, we've shipped a lot of nets last year. Uh, we had some requests for the original rubber style. Yep. And, uh, you know, we're going to go offer it both ways and see which way the public takes it. But uh, we wanted to give you the option. 
And you told me in addition to now the rubber style, so the angler has more options, you've got a net the musky guys are going to like too, right? That's right, Mike. Uh, we're looking at uh, producing a musky net that's one size bigger than our current uh, musky net. Uh, it's going to have a deeper, uh, deeper hoop to it. It's going to have a flat bottom and just a, just a giant hoop to catch a 50 incher. So you guys are going to have all the bases covered when it comes for net for the angler. Yeah, that's right, Mike. Uh, not only are we going to have multiple hoop sizes, multiple netting materials, but we're also going to have a, a, a fixed four inch, a fixed six inch, and then a four foot with a three foot extension and a six foot with a three foot extension to make it nine foot. So we're going to have the handles covered as well. So speaking of covered, <laughs> we've thrown about every bait under the sun today, but three and a half inch tube, all of our fish have came on it. I think to cover my bases, I need to go back to one of those. <laughs> Let's get her done. Fishing the Midwest is made possible by beautiful Cabotogama Lake, gateway to Voyagers National Park. Ray Marine, simply superior. Northland Fishing Tackle, made by fishermen for fishermen. Peline, because we fish. Vexilar, own the ice. Beckman Nets are back, and that's going to make lots of fishermen very happy. Beckman Nets are the best for both the fishermen and the fish. Beckman's coated nets are fish friendly to ensure the release of fish's safety. Beckman Nets come in handle lengths up to 9 feet, and the one-piece yoke is incredibly durable, while the quick connect channel allows for an ultra-fast connection of the handle to the yoke, and the features go on and on. If you need a new net, and if you don't have a Beckman, then you need a new net, check them out at participating fishing tackle dealers. Every angler has his favorite tools. A particular bait, the right rod, a net that never lets one get away. But all of these mean nothing if you don't have the ultimate tool as your foundation. Larson FX is your multi-species, multi-tool platform with tiller and dual console models ranging from 17 to 20 feet. Everything you need for catching any fish you want. Larson FX, are you ready? Visit your local Larson FX dealer or head to larsenfxseries.com for more information. We rise at 4 a.m., driven by an overwhelming passion. We're driven by the beasts that roam the waters of this great country. We don't think about stress or bills or Monday. We're fishermen, always ready. And as for the gear we hold, trust is everything. Never again should you sacrifice strength for style. The Team Lose Pro TI Speed School, built for anything you set the hook on. Core Ice expands your seasons by building houses using their revolutionary lightweight IntelliCore panels. These true structural composite panels are lightweight yet durable, extremely well insulated and waterproof too. Core Ice also offers models using their patented hybrid wheel skid system for the ultimate in portability. With models and configurations to fit the needs of all winter anglers, consider Core Ice and expand your seasons. Visit our website to find a dealer near you. Closed captioning on Fishing the Midwest is provided by Offshore Tackle, the leader in trolling technology. And we think, man, we're on it. However, we go for a couple hours and we can't get bit. We run around spot to spot, try some different baits, can't get bit. Finally, later on, we go to a spot similar to where we got those first three fish, and we pull up, and I think it was Mike's first cast fish. I bet it's what we came for. You well, are on him, Mike. Didn't take him long. No. Well, uh, that's always a good sign when you get a fish on the first cast. Oh, yeah, look at that one. Nice, good job. Look at that, it's a big, big girl there, too. Not bad at all. all right, yeah. First cast? First cast, he didn't want to open his mouth. Here. You just said, well, come here, you. you just said, I'm okay <laughs> with switching the spots because a lot of times they bite, you get one right away. 
Exactly. Boy, I've never seen one like this. There we go. <laughs> Good job, Mike. Thank you. Mike, we've talked about the P-Line Tactical that we're using today. Um, you're using the braid with the tactical leash. I'm using the straight tactical fluorocarbon. And P-Line's got a great promotion coming up on tactical, right? That's right. Uh, for the month of April, we're going to have a buy one, get one free uh, on any of the tactical line from 6 to 20 pound test. And the nice thing about this promotion is you'll leave the store with the free goods. It's not a mail-in type deal. You're going to leave the store with the free goods, so you'll have it in hand. That's really cool. And you know, the tactical, some people have been a little bit intimidated by the fluorocarbons because when they first came out, they're a little bit unmanageable. But man, a tactical on spinning, it's as good a fluorocarbon as I've used. It's really the way to go nowadays. You can take a, a lesser grade of, of rod and reel combo and it's like putting it on steroids because of the amount of energy transmission and how much you can feel with the line, uh, the knot strength. Uh, I'll, I, I have a hard time going back to monofilament. It's Mike and I are both tube fishermen. It's hard to beat a tube any time for smallmouth, but dragging a tube is a good way to actually cover some water and locate some active fish. So we did that. Caught a bunch on a variety of striking tubes. The three and a half pro model was the best. Another good one, I think, Mike. Another good one? Feels good. Shaking his head. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Nothing like a smallmouth in the fall. Get your blood pumping. Yep. There Ooh, we go. An acrobat. Yep. There, yeah, there you go, sir. <laughs> there we go. Good work. Got him. Pretty fish. Yep. Oh, look how dark this one is. Oh, wow. Look at him. Nice one. Go. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Another good one. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, darkest fish of the day. For Isn't sure. it, though? That is a fat, chunky, dark smallmouth. Smallies in the fall. Normally, I like to do a drag, so whether I'm casting and drag it on the bottom back, let that tube drag in the bottom, you're feeling the rocks, you know, feel, waiting for that bite, and then you set the hook. All right, got another one, Mike. <laughs> I love it. Biting smallies. I don't care what time of the year it is. Absolutely a blast. Woo! Woo! Digger. Coming up. Nice. That's heavy. Yep. Look at that Not one. Not long, but he's stout. No. Yep. He's short chunk. There you uh, go, Mike. Thank you, sir. Got him. Whoa. Look at the belly on that one. Yeah, he was chewing. Oh, my goodness. Hungry smallies. <laughs> Yeah, Mike. I did. Coming on your side? Uh, right here, we'll take him. He's nothing special, but he is a smallmouth. Oh, come back here, girl. <laughs> oh, no. Nice and done. We'll take them all. We will. Mike, tactical, like we talked about, is a good line. And you've talked about some of the proper properties of the line. Tell us about some of the uses for it. You know, today we're casting and dragging tubes, and obviously it's doing a good job on these guys, but tell us a little more, if you would, about some of the other applications for tactical. So Mike, the tactical line is made of 100% pure uh, fluorocarbon uh, pellets, and it, it transmits energy so much better than monofilament, and when we're running a tube like today, you're, you're running that tube on the bottom, you wanna feel that bite, you feel that bite, and it, it just jolts right up the line, right up, right up to your forearm, and you just know it. There's nothing better. It just transmits energy so much better. So we have just about all we need for the shoot, and I decide I'm going to go to a drop shot rig. And what a drop shot rig is is basically a hook tied in the line with about an 18-inch dropper weight below it. It's a little bit more finesse style of lure than the tubes that we've been dragging. I go to that drop shot. I put a new Strike King bait brand new for 2019 it's called a z2 it's a small fluke style bait a little smaller than some of our traditional flukes and right away i get bit and it's a big dog 
switched up Mike to that little uh, drop shot. Oh, that's a fun way to catch him. This yeah. looks like a good one. Yeah. Probably pretty hard. And one of the things about drop shot fishing, light line. I like six pound tactical fluorocarbon and with six pound line and a big old small mouth on a short line, you need not only quality line, but a good reel. Today I'm using a new Luz Custom Speed Spin, brand new spinning reel from Luz. I've got it paired with a custom light speed stick. Get drag on that. Oh, oh wow. Look at that one, look at that one, Mike. That's a beauty. Whoa. Not so cold that he's not afraid to come up and no. follow it. There we go. Nice. Ooh. Beauty. Big one of the biggest one of the day, don't you? Yeah, think? I think so. Big wow. body on that fish. That is a stout bass. Look at him. <laughs> wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mike. We I had a great day. We did. I went to that little drop shot. Let's see if they would eat that. Boy, oh boy. So there you have it, Smallies in the Fall, one of my favorites, and Mike Goddard, one of my favorite fishing partners. Hey, a great day on the water in mid-October. Fishing the Midwest is brought to you by Big Stone Lake Tourism, the Midwest's newest winter hotspot. Beckman Nets, uncompromising quality. Strike King, tie one on. Distinctive cabinet design for all your commercial, residential, and retail fixture cabinetry needs. Hannay's Marine is the largest Larson boat dealer in the world and has a huge selection of boats and accessories priced to fit any budget. Our knowledgeable and experienced experts will help you select from top fishing boat manufacturers, including Larson, G3, Bass Cat, and Yarcraft, and pontoons from Suncatcher. Now's the time to take advantage of manufacturer rebates of over $1,000 on select models and great financing rates. Your boat, your treasure, our business. Hannay's Marine, keeping you on the water. Distinctive Cabinet Design manufactures commercial millwork, retail fixtures, and residential cabinetry. Serving the homeowner on up through the general contractor, there is no job too small or too large. Whether it's custom kitchens for the homeowner or retail fixtures for hospitals, hotels, casinos, banks, and more, Distinctive Cabinet Design can do the job for you. Visit their website to learn more. Distinctive Cabinet Design, serving Minnesota and the entire country since 1999. Lake Cabotogama in Voyagers National Park is your year-round destination for experiencing nature at its finest. Enjoy the solitude of the pristine wilderness while having all the comforts of home available at the many full-service resorts. The fishing is world-class. So are all the other outdoor activities that are abundant in all the seasons. Cab is the perfect place for your family or group of friends, and Cab is an easy drive from anywhere in the Midwest. Cabotogama Lake in northern Minnesota. Discover Cab now. As the 2019 season of Fishing in the Midwest comes to a close, it's always fun to take a look back at some of the places we visited. There are so many outstanding fishing locations right here in the Midwest. Here are some of our favorites. Mike Frisch started the season on Big Stone Lake on the Minnesota-South Dakota border chasing walleyes with Artie Arndt. Here's some of that action. Oh, you got Whoa. a fighter. <laughs> Shallow water fish, there's not much. Oh, there's mussels on that. That's a good fish, look at that. Look at that one. Come on, buddy. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yep. Oh. oh, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Big Stone Lake on the Minnesota South Dakota border <laughs> is loaded. God. It doesn't get old, does it? It doesn't. <laughs> A couple of months later, I joined Tanner Arndt for a couple of hours of catching perch on Lucky Shad crankbaits behind planer boards. Perch on boards was a first time thing for me, but 
Boy, was it productive and fun. Man, oh man, these guys don't quit. This is a nice one. It's a good problem to have, but. I'm okay with it. Another nicer one on pink again. Pink, I think, Tanner. We're starting to see something. Yeah, it seems to be catching some of them bigger fish. You know, I got another nice one here. Right here, but, yep. Right um, mine ain't quite as big as yours. <laughs> that pink one's been producing pretty consistent here that last hour or so. And these were both in the outside lines. Keep this in mind. There are new regulations in Big Stone starting this year. Walleye season opens earlier than in the past. Check the regulations, but get to Big Stone. In midsummer, Mike headed to Lake Sakakawea in west central North Dakota to chase walleyes with Jason Foss. Sakakawea is an outstanding walleye fishery, and the scenery surrounding Sac is picturesque and unique. That's a nice fish. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Foss. That's more like what we're after. Yep. I just switched it up to that greenish hook, and bam. Green means go. Green means go. That was a real nice fish, Mike. I mean, see how healthy they are? And it's a little bit bigger, too, lengthwise. That's got to be pushing 20 inches. Yes, that is. That's a pretty good walleye. Thick. On one of our most recent trips to Lake Cabotogama in northern Minnesota, Tim Snyder showed Mike and me some world-class smallmouth bass fishing, and also some pretty darn good walleye fishing. Cab is a national treasure, and Voyager's National Park. Is this your best spot? <laughs> Does it usually take that long? I don't think I take it in my best <laughs> This feels like a pretty good fish, too. Uh, welcome to Cabotogama. Wow. Look at that. Uh, Jeepers. <laughs> what do you think of that, Mike? Mike, what cast was that? First. First cast. First cast on Cabotogama Lake, right? Can it, it, can, can it get better? Stud. The fish. Yeah, they, got their, <laughs> they got their feed bags on, don't they? Wow. <laughs> to see all things Fishing the Midwest, please follow Fishing the Midwest on Facebook. Fishing the Midwest team uses and recommends the services and products from these folks. K-Drill Ice Augers. Drilling ice will never be the same. Hanes Marine. There are 10,000 lakes in Minnesota, but only one Hanes Marine. Lose. Feel the difference. Clear Lake. Drop your anchor in Clear Lake, Iowa. Every angler has his favorite tools. A particular bait, the right rod, a net that never lets one get away. But all of these mean nothing if you don't have the ultimate tool as your foundation. Larson FX is your multi-species, multi-tool platform with tiller and dual console models ranging from 17 to 20 feet. Everything you need for catching any fish you want. Larson FX, are you ready? Visit your local Larson FX dealer or head to LarsonFXSeries.com for more information. on the water, a concert in the shadow of legends, a day of fishing in one of the premier fisheries in the Midwest. These are just a few of the wonderful attractions Clear Lake has to offer. Nestled in northern Iowa, Clear Lake is known for its beautiful scenic landscapes, top-rated beaches, and yearly events. From the annual winter dance party to the blockbuster 4th of July celebration, Clear Lake has something for everyone. Stay at the shore and explore. Forget everything you know about sonar. Now there's an easier way to find fish. Real Vision 3D Sonar from Ray Marine eliminates the guesswork. And it's only available on Axiom, our new blazing fast navigation display. Explore the underwater world from every angle. Spend less time fishing and more time catching. Real Vision 3D from Ray Marine, simply superior.
Fishing the Midwest is made possible by Bass Pro and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Garrison. Get hooked on Garrison on the north shore of beautiful Lake Sakakawea. Moor Lock. Get locked down. In the past several years, Fishing the Midwest has gone through some changes. About 20 years ago, we decided we needed a mascot, kind of a fishing icon for the show and our website and whatever, so we developed a fish mascot. Fishing is fun, so we wanted a fun fish. Through the years, our fish has evolved a bit from the original fish, and now for 2020, we've got a new fish joining us. Here it is, a fun and modern fish. Our website has also evolved. We've got a new one. We hope you'll like our fish and our website, and we hope you'll continue to like the way we do things here at Fishing the Midwest. I bet you're going fishing all the time, my baby going fishing too. I bet your life, your sweet wife, will catch more fish than you. Many fish bite if you got cool bait, yeah, here's a little tip I'd like to relate. Many fish bite if you got cool bait, yeah, I'm going go fishing, my baby going fishing, I'm going fishing too. Big brother about to run me out of my mind Say, can I go fishing with you? I took him on down to the fishing hole Now what do you think he'd do? Pull the catfish by the bottom of the pond Now he's laughing, jumping, he was real dog Yeah, man, fish bite if you got cool bait Yeah, I'm going fishing, my brother going fishing I'm going fishing too I love Minnesota walleyes Oh, doesn't get much better than this on pink again. <laughs> Whoa! The shark. Put them in the pot, baby. Put them in the pan. Cook them till they're nice and brown. You can catch them, release them. Mind that trophy fish up just to keep them around. In a fish bite, if you got cool bait, yeah, here's a little tip. I like to lay yeah, I'm in a fish bite. If you got cool bait, yeah, I'm a going fishing. My brother going yeah, that is a good fish. There you go. That is a nice one. Ooh, that's nice. Our 13 weeks of fishing the Midwest go by so fast, and we so enjoy sharing our fishing adventures with all of our viewers. Now it's time for us to get out in the water and make new fishing adventures to share with you in just a few short months. Have a good fishing season, be safe, maybe we'll see you on the water. See more Fishing the Midwest TV episodes by subscribing to the Fishing the Midwest TV YouTube channel.